Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Late Night Edition. I'm Landros, and of course here we are. Everybody is actually asleep. Well, actually they're not. <laughs> it looks like Josh and Elise are just actually making it home. Um, Josh, you need to go to the, bath to the bathroom? All right, well you go ahead. Um, Elise, you need to go ahead and come on to bed. <laughs> looks like everybody's tired. All right, yeah, go ahead. You know where you got to go. And wow, okay. Kids are asleep. Everybody's good. I have no idea what else is wrong with her. Uh, I know what's wrong with him. Oh, yeah, she really does have some things wrong. Josh, when you get done, why don't you go ahead and take your shower real quick? I don't know what you got to do in the morning. It is morning already. Can you make the elixir, though? Or you don't even know any potions. But hang on. Before you go to sleep, before you do it, doesn't this guy know how to make one? Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so glad Ian knows how to make this. We're going to take this, and you're going to drink this thing, and then you're going to go to sleep. All right. I don't know what time you work tomorrow. Oh, no, you've got plenty of time, so you really don't have to do that. But I want to get you up, because I want you to start learning how to do this. I want you to know how to make these potions as well. Because it'll make it for a little bit more fun when you go, when you go out to the clubs, because you don't have to worry about getting a full night's sleep. All right, now, Elise, you're actually off tomorrow, too. It's Sunday. Oh, yeah, you're having... Are you having a mid midlife crisis? Just what I remembered. Okay, great. So you want to move to a new house? Seriously? After I just moved you in over here, I don't think so. You're stuck here for a while. Till you start making some decent money. Right now, we've only got a little over 5000 and that's not enough to get us into anything bigger. But there is an apartment that's actually... I believe it's not this one. It's the one behind it that I would really like to get into. But for right now, this one will do. It's tight, and we're, we're doing the best we can with it, but that's okay. Now, as far as the kids, do you guys have birthdays or anything coming up? Yes, you do. Uh, they're both twins, so they got one more day. So they should age up, apparently, Monday night. And that's a good deal. That's really good for us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let them sleep. And when we come back, everybody will be up and ready to go. Um, actually, I probably don't even have to do that because you're going to watch Josh. He took that potion. He's going to sleep really, really quickly. You can see how fast it's going up. I know it's on uh, really fast speed, but he should wake up probably before everybody or shortly after the kids. And when he does, I need to have him go ahead and clean out bad food. Um, let's see, is there anything good in here to eat? Uh, the lemon pancakes are probably decent. And then he can come over here and discover a potion. All right, Ian, you ought to go to the bathroom. And you might as well take your shower. Let's see. It's Sunday, so you don't really have to do anything too much either. Go ahead and have lemon pancakes as well. You, on the other hand, you're actually really hungry. But you just want to sit there and play with your, um, whatchamacallit, imaginary friend. Yeah, I know. So you're going to go ahead and do this. Eat, then you can go to the bathroom, then you can take your shower. And that should give everybody enough time. Elise, oh, I think she won the hot dog eating contest, didn't she? Uh, that's why I hate entering it, because I never remember it. And I know I don't remember it. I know I don't even think about it. Josh, before you do this, tell you what, let's get you going with something else. You are going to actually learn logic while you're discovering a potion. Now, the boys should both have one of these. I know that Ian does. Yep, they both have them. So, Ian, when you're up, I'm going to let you listen to... Mm, you're not finished with logic either, so let's let you listen to that. And then you, on the other hand, you probably need to listen to it too. Okay, Ian, do you know how to cook? I think you do. I think you leveled up. I really do. I'll let you try it just in case. Mm. But I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, you know how to do this. And then you can play mm. with blocks if you want. Kyle, mm. until mom gets up, you're just kind of stuck. You're going to go for a joyride. You can actually ride on this thing. Let's see what else you want to do. Mm. You want to play catch with Ian? Well, if we And play tag with Ian. That one I, de I definitely know what we're going to do. And we can play catch with him, too. What do you want to play a game with Ian? All right, well, I really want you to discover this potion, and then maybe we'll go over somewhere this afternoon. Come on, Josh. It's taking you forever. At least, how long are you going to sleep? See, if she would have had that potion, she would have been up already, too. And we wouldn't have to spend all day watching her sleep. But let's see. When she gets up, she's going to need bathroom, shower, and she's definitely hungry. Oh, great. Well, don't worry about it. It'll 
It'll be okay. Just go. All right, Ian or Josh. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say I, it's not what I told you to do, but you know if that's what you're gonna do. Of course, we got rain coming in, so it's gonna kill any plans to really spend a lot of time outside. I mean, yeah, we could still go, but for the most part, that doesn't really help us. Now, as far as careers are going, I think they're actually pretty decent on their careers now. Let's see, he's up to level six. I think she is too. Yeah, so they're actually getting a little bit further ahead, although they they can't afford to stay, um, to actually play around too much. The kids are really good on their grades, so they don't have anything to really worry about with that. But maybe we could take them out and do something a little bit later tonight. I don't know. All right, Josh, how far is that for you? Oh, level two. That's not too good, but keep going. Keep doing what you can do. Let's see what it says. He wants to watch the Weather Channel. That's an easy one. Become best friends with Josh? I thought you guys were. I guess I've lost it. Um, Alright. Can you guys play on this thing together? I don't think you can. I think you have to play one at a time. That's okay. He's got something he wants to do anyway, so I'm going to let him do it. And not worry about it. Alright, yeah, you have a good time. Have fun. Alright, those can go in the refrigerator, buddy. I should have told you to do that. Now he doesn't, I didn't actually notice any um, any bar over his head, so I think he's leveled up as far as he can go. And Ian, I think you've already leveled up as far as you can go too with this. Alright, Kyle. Yeah, that'll kill our outdoor activities right there, so I don't think we're going to worry too much about going out. But that doesn't mean we can't go somewhere else. So while they're actually working on this, I'm going to look up here real quick. I could take them over to the gym, that way they could swim at the pool. But I don't think I've done anything to the gym as far as modifying the pool. So what I'm going to do real quick is just to make sure, let's go ahead and let's just edit that lot real quick. I don't know if I can because that's, it may not let me. If it doesn't, well, too bad. Um, here we go. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. Hopefully it will. Or hopefully I'll see that I already did it. Okay. Let's roll this down. Oh yeah, I already put diving boards in. Okay, so I'm done. I don't have to worry about that. So we can come over here and we can go to the um, we can go to the pool or we could go Well, we've been we've been to many other most of the other places, so I'm not going to worry too much. All right, Josh, let me go find you real quick. At least you didn't blow yourself up yet, so that's a good thing. All right. Now I've do have a gift to accept, but I already looked earlier. It's only one gift, and I've been asked to hold it for my next family. So it's my Generations LP. I'm going to be playing that right after I play this one. So I'll wait on that one. All right, well, the kids are okay. Well, you know what? You can complain. Well, if you want to get all upset about it, you might as well go ahead and try to fix it. Let's see, what does she want to do? She wants to work out until fatigued, and that would be a lifetime or a midlife crisis wish. Um, mm, mm, we'll do that. I know you got to lock that one in. you got to do it now until the thing is over. And we got six days, so that should be fine. You guys want a costume chest, and I never bought you one. At least I don't think I did. Is that a costume chest? No. It's a toy box. Um, if you want a costume chest, I'll get you a costume chest. I don't know where we'll put it, but I ought to get rid of this thing. Don't know why we have a second dresser, but I know it's there just for the looks. But that's okay. I can put something on it. I don't know. I'll just leave it there for now. Um, yikes. Do I need that dresser? No. Do I need that dresser? No. Do I need half the stuff? No, not really. But I'm leaving it in here anyway. Now, I could take this out. I have no idea where I'll put it. Will it fit here? No, it won't fit there. Um, tell you what, why don't we put it here for now? I'll stick it in here because we don't ever use it. I won't sell it in case we decide to move out of this place and then I have a place for them. Uh, something I can do there. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I wanted something for the kids. I wanted a costume chest. Uh, is it miscellaneous or is it toys? Toys, it must be. Is that the costume? That's the pirate chest. Um, music box, playground. There's all kinds of toy chests. There's the costume chest. Will it fit right here? Please tell me you'll fit. 
Perfect. Alright, you guys got your costume chest, so I'll send one of the kids over to play. Alright, he's doing that. I'm gonna send you over. Well, actually, you gotta wait till mom's out, so. Ah, uh, let me wait, because mom's getting out finally. Alright, transform into. How about you can be a prince? Let's go with heroic blue. And then you. You're actually still enjoying that. I'm not gonna worry about making you change. All right, so Kyle, you're gonna go transform, do what you gotta do. Josh, you're leveling up. Josh, you got up to level three. Oh, you earned a little bit of royal royalties, but not much. Oh, this is good. He's actually leveling up his skills with this too. So that's um, by doing this tap cast, mm -hmm. he's actually doing really well. Um, listen to logic again. So go ahead and stop what you're doing, and then you can play again. It doesn't matter. At least I need you to listen to charisma. Because you need to improve that. I don't know if you can. I really don't. So what do you want to do? Plan your outfit? That's an easy one to take care of, too. And Josh... I do want to take care of her hair, because I'm not crazy about it. Josh, what do you want to do? Anything different up here? I just want to learn some potions. Liquid horror. What's the other one you want? Stink juice. Eh, I don't really care about either one of those. Alright, Ian... Let's see, Kyle, can you play with Ian? Oh, he's going to go clean up. Good for you. What are you going to clean up, though? I don't know what he's going to clean up. Maybe the maid... Did the maid do anything? Did he do damage? Let's go downstairs and look. We haven't paid bills in a while, either. I bet we've got some. No, we don't. Uh, we could get the mail, but I'm not going to worry about the mail yet. Whoa! <laughs> what is she all... She's crazy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take care of this uh, planning of the outfit. So let's go over and take care of that real quick. And then I definitely want to change the appearance as well. I'm only going to change one outfit just because that will take care of this need. And then I'm going to send her over to the gym and let her get working on whatever the skill is. And she'll probably take the boys with her. Um, Josh, you could probably go too. I mean, it might as well be just a household outing. Can't beat it. Okay, now I did not set my dead. timer at all, so I have no idea how long I've been going. Probably not for very long. But I'm going to go ahead and set it real quick, just so that I don't, I don't actually go forever. <laughs> I have a habit of doing that. All right, so everyday outfits. Man, she was really, really pretty. But rolling in and looking at her a little closer up, yeah, she definitely aged up. I mean, she's still pretty, but it made, a, it made an impact on her. All right, let's see what he got here. This is all stuff that came with 70s, 80s, and 90s, which is fine. But I really want to go look at outfits, and I want to look at what came with Late Night. Yeah, that hair is just too much for me. It's too long. I mean, it works, but it's not for her. All right, I went way past it. That's World Adventures. Come on, let's go up. Admissions. Fast lane. Here we go. All right, now she could go with something like this. Come on. Roll out of here. Um... Yeah, all this came with late night. That one's not too bad. Okay, now that's definitely pretty bright. But this is every day, so I don't know if we really want to dress in like this for every day. But I could go with this for every day, if, as long as I change the hair. Um, and I've never used that, so that's why I'm trying to go for things I've never used. Now, if we look at her formal, I don't remember what we gave her. Actually, I don't think we did give her anything because um, she aged up. So there's no telling what she's going to show up in. Come on, Elise. Come on. It doesn't take long. Well, she's taking taking her time. So, so. Well, you know, that may be what we gave her. Yeah, that's exactly what we gave her. So, I'm not going to bother with it. It's fine. I mean, yeah, I guess I could change it up a little bit. Um, but I have to change up the shoes and everything. And I don't know. Could we do any of this Katy Perry stuff? I could. But I want to go stick with Late Night. So, let's go back to Late Night. Well, there's really only these, these big dresses right here. And... Hmm. I think I'd rather keep what she's wearing. Well, I don't have anybody wearing that, do I? I don't think so. No, I don't have any of that. Um, let's just look up this Katy Perry stuff that I never use. We got this one. No. This is the red one. Well, I changed the shoes up and then I could use it. So since I never use it and I don't have anybody else wearing it, I would do that. Um, I know that's not probably probably doesn't look good at all with the red, but 
Actually, it's fine. I can go. I can live with it. All right. As far as athletics, we're about to see her in it. Let's take a look at what she's wearing. That's perfect. I'm not going to change anything else except get her out of here and then... Oh, we got an invitation to Barry Tender Love's party. Well, that may just change our plans right now because we're going to that party. Um, let's see. What time is it going to be? Is it 516 and casual attire? Yeah, we're coming to your party. But what we need to do with her first then is we need to go ahead and change her appearance. Let's get this, um, get this hair taken care of. All right. May do some cleaning. Kind of driving me crazy. have no idea what happened to Kyle. He's playing out in the rain somewhere, I'm sure. All right, let's just Garana. see if we can fix this up. I forgot what I originally gave her. Open your eyes. Okay, I forgot, and I think it was something that came with late night. Here's all the late night stuff. Probably not. That wasn't that. Uh, it's not bad. I hate it. She really is showing that she is definitely an adult. Okay, what about this one? No. Okay, so I'm not crazy about those. Let's go look at the ones with accessories and see if anything came with late night. I have no idea because I don't really go into accessories very much. Um, these are all 70s, 80s, and 90s, which is very similar as far as the design here. Um, coming all the way down. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, we did have some. Not sure why she has this one. No, don't think so. Okay, we've got this long one right here, which... No, I'm not crazy about that on her either. I think that's what we had, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's, that's what she originally had. Which, I can live with that. I really can. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back with that, because I did like that on her. It was better. So, I'm not sure if that's what it was, but I'm thinking it was. And it works for now. We can always change it again tomorrow. Okay, what does she need to do? Oh, she doesn't need to do anything. She needs to listen to her tab cast as long as she, unless she is listening to it. No, of course not. Um, get this thing going. And charisma. I don't know if you can go any higher. Oh, buddy. Looks like you're going over here to take a shower. At least get out of there because he's going to shoot you out anyway. All right, go ahead. I know, she's walking, she's moving, come on, give her a break. Okay, Kyle, where are you? He's going to play pretend? Alright, let's go down and find him playing pretend. Um, you're going to play in the rain? Can you clean up at least? Yeah, you can clean up. We'll let you do this. And who left the book out? Let's go put that away. Alright, back to Elise. Um, Kyle, you're up to logic level 6. Which is good. Josh, let's get you back over here and have you working. Actually, you got to start your tab cast again. Oh, oh, I know. What are you going to go do? You're going to go talk to her? Oh, I have no idea what he's going to say. Oh, he's just going to chat. Well, that's all right. Go try to discover a potion while Ian, you're playing with these blocks. I wonder if Kyle can come play with you. All right. The maid has not cleaned this filthy toilet. I mean, there's something growing in that. That's just disgusting. That is awful. Ugh. Fire the maid. Fire that stupid maid who won't clean the bathroom. Of course, probably because we're always in it. Um, maybe he'll learn to go over there now. What, are you going to go talk to him? Don't chat with him. Tell him to go clean. You know what she ought to do? She ought to actually serve up something so we have food. Let's go ahead and make some food. That'll give us some time before this party starts, which it should be any minute. Um, he's not all done. He didn't do anything. Okay, so the kids can play on this together. I'm assuming that four of them can play, since there's still two more spots over here. And that's fine with me, as long as they can all do something together. I'm wondering if it's building their relationship or not. Probably so, because they usually get that whenever they're doing something. Oh, his relationship's really good with his cousin. So that's perfect. All right. Not, I mean, it's not bad with him. So, yeah, they're not too bad. All right, good old Barry. He's got a partner, but <laughs> we are definitely going to, we're going to mix that up tonight. All right, is it time? No, Josh, you're up to level four. And you still haven't gotten the potion discovered yet. Finally. 
What did you learn how to make, though? That's the big question. Stink juice. That's not really going to help us. So go ahead and discover another one. I want the sleeping elixir, then you can stop. All right, Elise. How are you doing? You're still cooking? Yeah, go ahead and cook. Somebody ought to take that trash out, but I think the maid was supposed to do it. Um, let's see. Did they take it? Yeah, they took it out. All right. Who's calling now? Oh, it's actually for Ian. Now, the adults don't have any, any interaction with this either, so the only time you can use it is when they're kids. So... Go ahead and use it while you got it. All right, Barry, his party's going. At least we gotta go. And it is a school night, so we'll leave the kids at home. Josh, he's got something he's working on. He ought to be working on his writing skill. Let's go ahead and put that away. And then you can go to the party. We're gonna go with you because we're gonna cause some damage at this party. For some reason, that seems to be a theme in my LPs here in the last few episodes or so, is causing problems at parties. I don't know what that has to say. Okay, somebody leveled up. Kyle got his block skill up to three, which means he's mastered that set. Um, oh, man. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because he's getting ready to age up, and we don't have time to run around town looking for all this stuff. I mean, we do, but I'm not doing it. All right, Elise. How far is this party going to be? I have no clue where this guy lives, which is... Why well, I'm glad you know where, he, where he's at, so maybe he lives in a nice place. Then again, you never know. Doesn't look like he's real close either. I thought he was closer than this. Uh, he's not in the big slip. Oh, he's back. He must be back in those houses in the back. Well, yes, he is. All right, so I don't think I've been in this house. Yeah, I have. It's a tiny little house. All right. Go ahead and you go talk to go talk to Barry. Oh, Barry's actually going to go cooking, so that's fine. Uh, Ruben wants to ask Elise out on a date. No, she's actually at a party. Sorry, she's got to go inside. Um, where is his girlfriend? It's a Brandy somebody or another. Who is this? No, not her or him. Maybe it's her. Nope. So you've got to. Uh oh. Oh, at least she's moving in on your territory. Go over here and let's go ahead and chat with this guy. Let's show her how it's done. Let's do a chat. Let's do a friendly hug. Let's do um compliment his party and his home. Yeah, and let that woman just sit here and watch. At least it's going to show you how it works. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of rain in the background. Let me turn that down a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get you started a little bit. Let's go ahead and compliment his appearance. Compliment the personality. You can flirt and do a flirtatious joke. Let's see if we get you going. I think that's all you got. Nope, one more. Um, now you can actually give up some flowers. Oh, see, she's all like, oh, well, that's the way you do it. Okay, I got you. She's going to go work on somebody else. Just, uh, Josh is busy. Sorry. Oh, Josh, he blew yourself up again. Poor guy. He'll figure it out. If not, nah, he'll just have to wait. See, that Barry likes it this time. Alright, let's see what you guys can do. Um... Yeah, you don't have any other interactions yet, so we're going to wait. Okay, so far he's liking it. Let's go ahead and do an amorous hug. We're going to go ahead and flirt some more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looks like he is going to be in trouble with his girlfriend, but that's alright. We'll fix that. Okay, go ahead and confess, confess your attraction. And of course then, do your first kiss. See if he falls for this, I don't know. If he does, then he deserves it. Oh, there you go. Okay, why don't we go ahead and ask him to break up with Randy. What? 
Of course, he's going to actually start to like you a little bit less once you do this because you forced him to do that. So you got to continue working on it just a little bit if you want to keep going. Um, no, actually, not too bad. So let's go ahead and let's give him some more flowers. Maybe he'll like it again. I don't know. Oh, he did. All right. Go ahead and kiss the guy. And learn some more. Let's see. Hold hands. Okay. Still nothing. Compliments of parents. Gazed into his eyes. Okay. Alright, and then we embrace. Oh, yeah. All right, and then we can actually go ahead and give him an amazing massage. Let's see. Oh, you can whisper. All right, that's what I want. I want to propose going steady so we can actually trap this guy. He is hungry. Okay, you know you're right. Things are over between me and Brandy. Brandy might be pretty upset with you, though. So we made, we made another enemy. All right, Ian's up to level 8 in his logic skill. All right, let him go ahead and eat. This poor guy is hungry, but no, you can't. No, all right, we're going to speed him up because we definitely want to finish this up. We're not going to leave until he actually says yes and we can move on. They just have a nice little house back here. It's just not big enough for all of us who want to move in. Come on, Barry. Finish this thing up. I'm speeding you up just because I don't want to wait. I have no idea what the kids are doing. I have no idea what Josh is doing. All right, we're going to actually be a little bit more romantic with him as well. Continue on. Let's see. And then give him this massage again. Of course he's going to have to eat. And we got to go through this whole thing again. All right, Elise. Don't let him get too far away. Who's that? Oh, okay. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah, you were kind of hungry. Mm. All right, come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. I know you're tired. I know it. Oh, okay. So he wanted you to go home. Well, you're not leaving. You're not leaving till we get this done. We're on a mission tonight. Uh, let's see. I need to give even more flowers. Who is this woman? Oh, okay. Just come over and eat some macaroni and cheese. That's fine with me. Right. Have him do this. Let's get this thing going. This woman is just all into the... She's getting all in their space. Come on. Go away. All right. Do we have that yet? No, 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 no. You can go ahead and kiss the guy. Hurry up. You want him to choke with another sim? No. Oh, we were supposed to fall in love with um, Tristan. But that's all right. We don't really care too much about Tristan. Gotcha. All right, she's extremely irresistible, so now should be the time. That's what we can do. Yep, let's pick this guy, let's trap him in, reel this guy in, and then you'll be done for the night. You'll have it all taken care of. Let's see what he says. Oh, okay. And I have no idea. Oh, yeah, he's in the culinary career. That's fine. All right, see our boyfriend now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we are good. We're good to go. We can actually leave because he's going to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and send Elise home. Josh, let me find out what you're doing. Doesn't look like you're doing anything. You must just be standing there looking like an idiot. Of course you are. Go ahead and take your shower. And of course you didn't even tell the kids to go to bed. It is late. Come on. Um, that's not your bed. Go to bed. Kids, go to bed. And turn this off. Josh, I can't believe you let them stay up this late. See, I can't leave you guys alone for a second. And Josh, I'm going to get you to bed. And at least when you get home, you are kind of hungry. You should have had the mac and cheese, but you made your own dinner. So go ahead and come in here and you can go to bed. Although it's really not too bad. You could go, you could actually go and um, stay up a little bit longer too, because it is late night. But that's all right. I have no idea how, how far she is. Oh, she's right here. Well, she went out, she went to a party, she got a boyfriend, so I think that was a pretty eventful party. 
and let's see, Josh <laughs> didn't do much. That's okay. When does he work again? Tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, 13 hours, and uh, she's working in 14 hours. The kids got school, so everybody's actually got something to do. Come on, at least get upstairs. Still, man, it takes her forever to get up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let Elise get something to eat, and I'll get, let her go on to bed. And when we come back. Everybody will be getting up and getting ready for either school or for work. It'll probably be the boys getting up first because they have to go earliest. And from that point, we'll just see what we have to do on Monday. So I'll be back in just a second. Oh, it looks like we got an alien. At least I hear one. Let me go downstairs because I'm sure they're at our door. Yep, here comes the alien. And is it a guy or is it a girl? That's a girl. We could have Josh come down here and get to know the alien real quick. Josh, get out of bed. Get out of bed and come down to meet the alien. Come on. Oh, she's going to leave. If she leaves, I'll be so mad. Don't go anywhere, alien. Come on. He's coming. Oh, well. If she doesn't, go ahead and do a friendly introduction. Let's see if she'll stay around for that. Come on. Get down here. I think he's coming. They don't stay very long. They stay long enough for you to actually introduce yourself. Um, Josh, you could have dressed a little bit for it. Although, you know, that's fine. Alright, so go ahead and... Oh, wow. She likes that. Go ahead and be friendly and let's see what this gets to know. Friendly chat. Ask her about her career, which I'm sure she doesn't have one. Share a secret. Talk about the cold, which <laughs> you're standing out in the cold, wet rain. Um, you can gossip if you want, and you could actually chat, get to know, and that should just about be it. You want to learn her sign? Let's see if we can. Come on. Alright, let's see if we can learn her sign. Alright, romantic. Ask her sign. Alright, that's going to take care of that for us. And that's actually working on Christmas, so this is a good thing. Oh, she's childish. We'd have to change that trait, that's for sure. And she's charismatic. Well, the child's trait isn't too bad. Yeah, I've got this mod in here, which is actually checking all these different things. Okay, so she does like you. I would love to get an alien to move in because they come with a um, they come with a spaceship, and then you can do all kinds of things in the town. You don't get that if you just have them born into the family, like my one in generations. But I'd love to just see it. I'd love to actually do it. And I haven't done it yet. All right, looks like she's leaving. So Josh, you go ahead and go on back. Go upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go to bed. And all right, that's the boys. And then that way, maybe you won't be so bad. But the nice thing is that we now actually know the alien, and we can contact her. He can always chat with her and build the relationship up that way. And you know, you never know. He might want to woohoo with an alien, and see where that goes. All right, I'll go ahead and cut out of here at this point. I'll be back when everybody's up and ready to get going. Be back in just a second. All right, well, somebody's getting up. I'm believing it's probably one of the kids, and I don't know. Everything just stopped all of a sudden. Oh, it's Elise. Elise is the one who's actually ready to go. All right, Elise, I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and start. Let's see. Make sure you get your needs taken care of. You're fine with everything else, but let's take a shower because you won't get that at work. And then um, let's clean out. Actually, the maid's here, so the maid can actually clean out the bad food. At least I thought I saw the maid coming in here. No, it's actually a little too early for them. Let's go ahead and clean out the bad food since you can do that. And... Um, I'm going to get you to go ahead and listen to, let's start with Charisma again, because you're definitely going to need that. You need to use Smooth Recovery, which we haven't had an opportunity to do it. Well, we have, but I haven't taken it. All right, the boys are about to get up, and school's going to start how soon? Oh, it's Kyle's birthday, and that means it's Egan's birthday. Fantastic. Um, they got school in two hours. How are their needs? Uh, you can get up and go to the bathroom, or actually, yeah, you might as well do both. Use this, and let's go ahead and take a shower. You, on the other hand, let's go ahead and let you take care of food. Um, eat some poopy carbonara. Then you can go ahead and do the same thing that he's doing. And hopefully the maid will take care of this filthy bathroom because it is disgusting. All right, Elise. Um, you're actually okay. We needed to do something. We need to have you work out. So tell you what, since you've got time, it's only 7.30. And what time do you go to work? You got seven hours, so we're going to send you over to the gym because you've got that wish to go work out. So let's go ahead and have you visit the wellness center. 
and the boys I'm gonna let them just do their own thing because they should be able to get to school on their own I'm saying that but oh. you know how that changes I'll come back and look again What's wrong with you now? okay just feeling her stomach like she's gonna throw up or something I had no idea what to expect hopefully she doesn't and Josh I think you're gonna be sleeping for a while so I'm not gonna worry too much about you um, but you could come down and pay the bills well, actually, it's too early. The mailman hasn't come yet. All right, at least get to moving, because we don't have forever. And I don't know if we can actually do this for very long. Okay, are you getting in the subway for this, or are you going... Oh, I think it's right here. All right, that's good. So she's going to go in here. We're going to get her set up. Um, I don't know how long she'll be able to work out, because I don't think... Oh, yeah, she's got a decent amount of skills. So let's go on up to... It's the first one oh. I want to go to. Oh. Go ahead, go on all right, let's get her over here at the treadmill and have her work out. Um, good pacing means you can go longer. I don't really want her going longer. I really just want her to get fatigued, but I don't know how long this is going to take her. And she can't afford to miss work, so I'm going to have to see if she can do this. All right, you're set up. You're good. I'm going to go back over with the boys. They should actually be at school. Um, let's go ahead and have you meet friends. Oh, you're actually on your way. Oh, poor guy. You didn't get to use the bathroom or take a shower. That's all right. You'll survive for the day. Um, Josh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're going to sit there and dance. You are crazy. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's get this done. Let's get the shower done. And we're going to go ahead and get you to eat something real quick. And I'll turn this off for you because nobody else is listening to it. You go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to go back. Let's see. How much time do you have before work? Four hours. I'm going to have you listen to writing because that will help you on your on your job. And I know I've been doing logic, which I should have been doing writing all along. But that's okay. At least you're not listening to anything, which is, that's actually wrong. I should actually take you off to make you start again, but I don't know if that'll mess you up time-wise. I'd really rather you just get fatigued real quick. So let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. It's almost time for work. I forgot what time it goes, what time you actually have to go. Oh, you go at 2, so I gotta actually think about that about 1 o'clock. Everything else is fine. I'm not going to worry too much about anything else. Josh has got to go earlier, so that's fine. He'll be on his own. He can do it. Josh, tell you what. Before you go to work, once you get this done, let's take you downstairs and pay the bills, because I'll forget. Um, the bills are right here. Wow. It's not too bad. All right. He's got a new look. Oh, he's got the hat on and the glasses. Pretty cool. All right. So at least we're back with you. And I think I've shown this gym off before, I believe. I don't know. Anyway, this is the main workout level right here. It has everything you need. Of course, upstairs is the pool, but you go, I think, up to the next level right here. So, yeah, if you want to go to the pool, you can come here. They don't have an outdoor pool in Bridgeport, but they do have this one. At least I'm not aware of any outdoor pool. I can't think of one offhand. Oh, yeah, there is. There's one at that lot that, um, that has all that stuff I put in. So, yeah, there is one outdoor pool. Why? What in the world? I just clicked on Elise, and why is why did it take us home? I don't know. Maybe she's already home. What happened to her? I mean, <laughs> is this a glitch or what? I don't know. Let me go ahead and speed her up, because it says she's still on a treadmill, but I don't think she is. For some reason, Elise, I don't see you. Unroutable sim found, Elise Reynolds. Okay, Elise, it just found you, and apparently we don't know where you are. It says you're here, but you're not here. Too bizarre. Tell you what, I'm going to wait till you actually finish up on this athletic oh. thing. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's what I needed to wait for. And now I'm just going to reset you and see if it'll actually show you. Reset Sam Elise. I did change your name, didn't I? Oh, i got to go check because everybody says that... Um, oh, man. Don't tell me I lost another oh. Sam. Oh, I will be so... Oh, there she is. I was going to say, I'll be so angry if I lose another one. Um... You gotta go to work, so let's go ahead and send you out. Oh, it's too late anyway. Kyle Hamming, he still has his. Mm, oh. I need to change that. So Josh, oh, that's not you. That's mega. actually Elise. So Elise, we could have been doing that, but I don't think we can do it now. We're gonna have to wait until um. Let's see. I could go over there and try change a name. Yeah, I could skip out of work or be a little late. Let's be a little late. Come on. Why not? Come on, Elise. Get over there. 
Yeah, she's going to be late, but we're going to at least get this done, because this won't take long. And Josh gets his raise, and Elise is going to be late and start losing money. Oh man, you're just driving us nuts. Get out of our way. Don't you know she's got six minutes to get this done and get to work? But that's okay. This shouldn't take long. As long as she can just stop with the umbrella. You're missing work already. And you're you're going down. But of course you can't... Oh yeah, you can actually lose your level. So, Kyle, yes, we like that. And we need to change this last name to Reynolds. Okay, now we're done. Now go to work. Go to work. And you need to work hard just to make up for this. Come on, go to work. All right, so now once you actually do that, even though she's not there, she's actually not losing anything because it says she's going to work. And that's all you really have to worry about. And she only works three days a week because Thursday is the festival day. So she can't she can't really afford to take too many uh, too much days off. Who's that? Oh, okay. Josh, what did you get up to? Oh, you're still same level, but 121. In, Excuse me, 121 an hour, and Elise is at 100 an hour. So Josh is doing much better, but Elise can actually fix that. She can come up the, a little bit higher. Okay, the boys are at the guess that they're there. Oh, they're at the scout room so until 5 o'clock. And he's actually doing this. Oh, she's got film work. I never do this. I never do, and I should. I can go perform the job, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I really don't want to do it. All right, Kyle's earned his badge. I never show this thing off, so I need to make sure I remember to do that. Darn it. We got to go to this badging ceremony. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and find him. He's got to come back over here to attend the ceremony. And so does his cousin. Don't go home. Don't go home. Go ahead. Stay here. Don't go home. Poor little guy. He's as smelly as can be. Come on, Kyle. Don't go home. He should be coming over. Oh, he's in his little scout uniform. That's pretty cool. I wonder if he does, too. Yeah, he's got his little scout uniform on. And at least he has the right name this time. It took me forever, but, you know, I forgot. Okay, so they the whole, the whole household should come, but since they're at work, they can't actually come to it. And that's okay. All right, so they both got a fishing skill, I think, or at least one of them did. And we definitely want to make sure that they show off their badge. At least got up to level four. Okay, I'm athletic. Wow, Josh, are you almost home? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we get him out of here. He's actually in pretty good. He's actually not bad off, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take him out tonight. So it's a Monday night. He's actually getting off work. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and end the part here. When we come back, we're gonna find a place to take Josh out for the night because we spent some time with Elise. We got him, a bo got her a boyfriend. But we're gonna actually take Josh out. Maybe he'll invite this alien friend out or not. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.